So I'm really excited to talk about my new book, the second edition of Knife Engineering. So this is a new edition. It's been expanded and updated based on everything that I've done in the past five years. So one of the biggest changes is that we added a whole new chapter, which is chapter 28 on forge heat treating. And this is a good example of the type of improvement that I was trying to make with this book is I did a ton of experiments that looked at things that I had not done myself for the first edition. So for the first edition, I had a lot of experiments done, but in areas that I had not done experiments of my own on specific knife steels, I had to use older journal articles. And that information is all good and useful, but when I do the experiments myself on knife steels, we often learn some really cool things and also we can try techniques that are currently being used by knife makers, though not just techniques that are used in industry. So it makes the information a lot more relevant and I learn some very interesting things every time I look at that. Another major new feature of the book is one that a lot of people ask for on the first edition, which is an index. So this makes it obviously a lot easier to find the different subjects. And if you don't know what a term means, like austenitizing, then you can look that up in the index under austenitizing and then go to one of the first pages and I have a definition of austenitizing. So but the main improvements of the book are just new experiments throughout that give better information about how to heat treat and how steels work. Another thing that surprised me about the first edition was just how popular the heat treatment recommendation section was. So I beef that up for the second edition. So I have a table of contents for all of the steels. And also I included recommended forging temperatures, normalizing temperatures, and annealing temperatures for every steel. Before those were in the book for most steels, but they were in different sections of the book. So to simplify things, I just included it on every steel. So that makes it a lot easier to come up with a heat treatment for every steel. And I think a lot of knife makers are going to enjoy that section now that it's been improved. So as other examples of things that were added to the book, there's a bunch of experiments. I'm not going to show them all. Obviously, you'll have to buy the book to see all of that. But for example, here in the quenching section, I did a really big oil quenching study since the first edition because I did not have experience with different cross section thicknesses on different steels with different commercially available oils that knife makers are using. So I did a bunch of experiments on oils. That's all included or like here, for example, in the austenitizing section, I included a bunch of data that we've generated over the past few years from different steels. Uh, oh, also another complaint about the first edition is a lot of figures either had Fahrenheit or Celsius, but now virtually all of the diagrams have both temperature scales on them. So you European readers can stop complaining about that. But yeah, that's basically what the book is, is that just a lot of formatting improvements. You know, I improved the contrast on diagrams. I added Celsius. I added a lot of new experiments. And so the book overall is just a lot more complete, a lot more well-rounded. Though it's also available in more formats. So, you know, the hardcover will last a lot better than the paperback. I've seen some pictures from knife makers of their very tattered looking paperbacks and the hardcover should last a lot better. Now this is a non-final copy. That's why it says not for resale on there, but you can see basically what it is. It's a nice hardcover, it's like 10 bucks more or so than the paperback. This is probably the format that I would buy if I were choosing between them. Oh, to show you the difference between the first edition and the second edition, Amazon still has the first edition and they, would very much like to trick you into buying it so they can get rid of the rest of their stock. So it's on fire sale right now. So I guess that's good if you don't care about the improvements of the second edition, but don't accidentally buy the first edition if you already have one or if you want the second edition. The second edition is of course the one that I would choose because it is improved and updated. You can also get a PDF now, which was not available before. So that is great if you've got a nice tablet and that's available on payhip.com. And this is especially good for all of those countries where the print edition was not available or you had to import it for a lot of money. So now you can get the PDF. That is the cheapest format that you can buy. And then also there is a PDF bundle where you can get the story of Knife Steel, my other book, along with uh, Knife Engineering Second Edition in one bundle. And that is by far the cheapest way to get both of those together. 
So this book is not about heat treating necessarily. It's about knife makers and metallurgists, how they innovated and developed new things. Like how did the steel industry and the knife industry come to be what it is today? Who were the innovators that were coming up with new uh, knife steels? Who decided to use them in knives? Who introduced Damascus in the modern era? Uh, all of those cool innovations. How did the knife industry become what it is? Like where did Spyderco and Benchmade come from? And who were the precursor companies to them? And who developed all the cool Damascus patterns and stuff that we have today? All of that is in here. So if you want to learn about the knife industry and metallurgists who uh, invented cool things, then you can get that bundle, The Story of Knife Steel, or just go buy the paperback or hardcover edition of that. But the main thing we're talking about today is just Knife Engineering 2nd Edition. I'm very proud of it. It took me about 18 months of work. I thought, you know, oh, a month or two and I'll be done updating Knife Engineering. No, making a 2nd Edition is a lot more work than I expected. It's almost as much work as writing a book from scratch, and sometimes it felt like more work. So I hope everyone goes out and buys it. Uh, it's selling well already, and so you know I get uh, good reviews from knife makers all the time. So you know this book is one of the things I'm best known for. So I've been really proud of how people have responded to the book. You know, telling me how easy it is to understand, how much they've learned about knife steel and heat treating and the different geometry effects of cutting. And so that's been really gratifying, and I'm really excited about this second edition. So I hope you guys are excited about it too. Until next time, bye bye.